Cosmic Nuts and Cosmic Notties, and welcome to another Cooking with Cos. Today, we are going to make a maple smoked salmon out on the grill, as well as a pumpkin risotto, and some Brussels sprouts. So yeah, let's go ahead and start getting the maple marinade ready for the salmon to marinate for a bit, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take some maple syrup. Let's take all the maple syrup. Could probably even use a little bit more, but it's what I got on hand. So we use the maple syrup. Then we are going to use uh, eight tablespoons of soy sauce. four teaspoons of minced garlic or four cloves and some black powder. Do this good mixing. And then we will pour this over the salmon and let that marinate for about an hour. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the risotto. And let's first get this lit. And it's starting to heat up. Uh, we'll add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. This good and hot. See how it's, the oil starts to ripple like that? Get that rippling effect. It's starting to heat up. Probably warm enough. Even though we are adding an awful lot of onions to this, uh, it's one full onion. That's one onion diced. Coated in oil and whatnot. Let this cook down a little bit. See that little chunk right there? That's the root. That's actually the part that's got probably the most amount of nutrients in this whole bit of onion. Alright, now that the onions are starting to turn translucent like that, like this, we are going to add to it two cups of arborio rice. And this is a short grain rice. And uh, the reason why you want to be using these... Uh, a boreo rice is because it's a really starchy rice and that's what makes the creamy texture of a risotto is the, uh, um, breaking down of the starches and really what we're trying to do is like a, uh, when you make rice aroni and stuff like that how they want you to kind of toast it that's what we're trying to do here is toast toast the rice a little bit Right. Oh, you can smell how it's kind of starting to toast now. Uh, we got some of it that's starting to toast a little bit. You see the color in there? That's really all you're looking for is to get that started. Then, we're going to take a can of pumpkin puree. Not pumpkin pie 
filling, but just straight old pumpkin. And if you want to be really bougie, you can now add two cups of wine into this mix. Uh, but we're just going to go with two cups of vegetable broth that I made ahead of time. So. Now, we want to give this all a stir and keep on stirring it and mixing it all up until the water absorbs or until the uh, broth absorbs. And when it does absorb that, we will add more of the vegetable broth. Now, when the risotto starts to thicken up and, and get where you can uh, separate quite easily like that, you want to add more of, in this case, the vegetable uh, uh, broth, but uh, if you're using chicken broth, water, uh, you would do it all at this time and add yourself about a third to a half a cup at a time until the next time that evaporates. After adding in all the uh, liquids and stirring everything up, this is the kind of creamy texture you're looking for. You want to shut the heat off and then we're going to stir in two thirds of a cup Parmesan cheese. There's one. And two. Is what it looks like yeah we got the maple salmon pumpkin risotto and some Brussels sprouts send cost some money on PayPal so he can buy himself something to eat and he won't have to sell his body to Albanian men on the street where broke he be 
days living out in the desert, no money and no shoes. And he may smoke the marijuana, but at least he won't spend it on booze.